Hello Pisces, it's Maria, InsightfulAstrology.com. Welcome to March. I feel like I need to be so gentle with you guys this month. I feel like you're fragile, especially early on in the month. And there is a lot going on for you with relationships, with your perspective on things. Oh boy. Okay, so Mercury has been retrograde, as you may, may know from last month in your sign. And as we begin this month, Mercury is still retrograde, but it goes retrograde out of your sign and into your hidden 12th house of anxiety, and, you know, all the skeletons in your closet. And that happens on the 4th, but then Mercury is going to go direct on the 9th, the same day as a full moon in your partnership sector. This full moon, it's bringing all of the confusion to a head that you've been experiencing between you and a partner, all the second guessing that this Mercury retrograde has been bringing to your awareness about yourself and where you've been lying to yourself, as well as with a partnership theme, it's coming to a head at this full moon. And because Mercury is stationing direct on the same day as this full moon and the full moon is in Virgo, Virgo is ruled by Mercury. So Mercury is the boss of this full moon. It's chaotic. It's going to be an emotionally draining, chaotic time for you. And for some of you, there could be absolute breaks in relationship at this time, business or personal, complete breaks, breakdowns in communication. I mean, you just can't sustain it anymore. There is this this exhausted feeling of, I'm just so tired of not knowing what's real. I feel like I'm going crazy. Is this person lying to me? Am I, am I the one who's lying to myself? What's going on here? It's really that kind of energy for you in the beginning of the month. Now, it's, it's going to pass. Everything does pass. But I will say that for some of you, this could be a big relationship turning point month. And it looks more like like a, a break or an ending, then fulfillment if that is happening for you. But it's the kind of ending that's in your best interest because this full moon is actually really, you know, it's not, it's not terrible. It's just that it's opposing Neptune in your sign. So it's this emotional awareness of the delusions, of the illusions, of the, the self-deception. And that Mercury retrograde was also highlighting that for you for the past couple of weeks. Okay, so I'm sorry if some of you are going through that. Now, there's other astrology happening. But if you are going through this kind of breakup energy, you know, a detox might be helpful, a physical kind of a detox. And there is, you know, you can do any kind of a detox, but I will show you this. This is a cut and clear spiritual bath that is all about purging, letting go of what no longer serves you. And, you know, the same way that an Epsom salt bath can drain, you know, impurities from you and all of that, this drains the psychic impurities, the, all of the stuff that is just bringing you down. So if you are going through something really emotionally troubling at the beginning of the month, a detox bath could really help your energy. And this is available at the Apothecary. The link is in the description box below. Coupon code gets you 15% off. Um, not all of you are going through a breakup, so I don't want you to assume that every, you know, this is a horrible negative month for all of you. It's not the case. And for some of you, it's more about knowing that you have to stop lying to yourself about relationship dynamics and, and relationship needs and stop making excuses for the other person or for yourself. So it could just be a very emotional time and a turning point in the relationship that leads to growth. I don't know. I'm not looking at your personal chart. I'm looking at the general themes here for you guys. So aside from the relationship energy, it's going to be a pretty big month for other reasons. So Venus will move into your third house on the 4th and stays there until April 3rd. And Venus is the planet of harmony and money and love. And Venus is actually making beautiful links in the sky. So I do believe that there is a money-making opportunity for you that connects to communication, sales, marketing, 
and uh, group events or the internet, okay? Big money is there for you guys this month. And that is going to be made into your awareness as early as the 8th when Venus and Uranus are conjunct in your third house. This could be a sudden opportunity. Venus is making nothing but spectacular links in the sky this month for you while she's in Taurus. So I know that there's, there's money here for you. There's something good here for you in third house related matters and in involving technology or groups, other people, because Venus will also make a perfect trine to Jupiter and Pluto in your 11th house by the 28th. It's, it could be a dream come true for you with a communications related endeavor that you've always wanted to do. It could be an amazing month to launch a podcast, a YouTube channel, a webinar series, to do a group workshop, uh, anything, a big uh, social marketing internet type of campaign amazing for you guys. So I want you to focus your energy on that because it really is good. Okay. So now there's also a new moon in your earned income sector on the 24th. That looks amazing as well. I, money looks good for you. <laughs> money is really good for you. I understand that the relationship and the emotional stuff could be heavy early in the month, but I have to say the money looks good. And that new moon is setting up new income opportunities for you, should you decide to take advantage of them. And so now I want to go into the main event of the month for everybody, not just you. It's, it's all of us because we're all experiencing this transit. It's just everybody experiences it in a different way. Saturn in astrology is the planet of responsibility, limitation, and commitment. Saturn can be fear but Saturn can also be mastery. And Saturn takes about 29 years to go around the sun, which means he spends about two and a half years in each sign and then moves on to the next sign. On March 21st, for the first time in 29 years, Saturn will move into Aquarius. And Saturn's just saying, hey, how you doing? He's given like a quick five minute shout out. The five minute shout out lasts three months. It's until July 1st. But it's a brief period of time where you're going to want to pay attention to what Saturn's message is. And then Saturn on July 1st will go back into Capricorn and finish up those lessons. And then in mid-December moves into Aquarius full time until 2023. So what are these lessons? Saturn's going to move into your hidden 12th house. And what I find fascinating about a Saturn 12th house transit is people over and over all of a sudden have to deal with this situation of, wait a second, there's this goal that I've had. There's this ambition that I've had for a long time. And all of a sudden, I don't want it anymore. I don't care about it anymore. You might realize this. You might have this awareness in the three-month period that Saturn moves into your 12th house. You want to pay attention to it because a lot of goals are abandoned during this time period. And when they are abandoned, it's not, it's not a bad thing. It's not a good thing. It's not a bad thing. Don't think of it like that. It's just a recognition that what I thought was so important to me, what I thought I wanted more than anything else, it's not really meaningful anymore doesn't define who I am. And you might let go of it. This could also be a time when you're getting real about confronting some of your anxieties. For you, Pisces, these are anxieties that have to do with expressing your true individual self. The part of you that is unlike anybody else. The part of you that's a little weird part of you that's ahead of its time, innovative, eccentric, erratic, uh, the part of you that's not exactly socially acceptable. And that's because this is Aquarius and Aquarius is everything that is unusual. And for you, there's a fear of expressing this. There's a fear of getting in touch with that part of yourself, but you also have a karmic obligation to your soul to do exactly that. So, Mars will also move into your 12th house and Mars and Saturn are going to make an exact conjunction on the 31st. That's going to stimulate this lesson for you. It's going to kind of bring it into your awareness faster than normally for Saturn, just moving into a new part of your chart. 
It's going to be yep. in your face. And it'll be interesting because all of a sudden, what was so important to you might not be. All of a sudden, you might realize that you have this huge fear of either failure or success that's connected to your ability to individuate, to do whatever is so out there and different. But you have to confront this. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and for your kind comments. And of course, if I could ever help you look at your personal astrology in a deeper way, just click the link. link. Did I say lick? <laughs> click the link in the description box below. And we'll be talking very soon in a private consultation. Thank you, guys.